Hum Hum Pong Pong, a sandwich franchise from the fictional universe of Project Moon, originating from the city's 13th district where one of the main protagonists, Roland, is an avid enjoyer of the chain, mentioning it being known for its sandwiches. After the major success of Lob Corp in Ruina, there is a real-life restaurant and themed cafe in Suwon, South Korea, where they sell food, drinks, and exclusive merchandise. Ever since I got into their games and works, I've noticed that to this day, there still aren't any guides or a detailed experience regarding the establishment, or how the entire process really works. So this is why I'm making this video, to share my overall experience and help others because it seems like many unfortunately miss the opportunity when visiting. First off, you need to be the legal age in Korea, which is 19. But when I had gone in, uh, a couple months ago, I was 18, but then due to the uh, Korean age system, I am considered 19. The reason is because of alcohol and mature themes, because the legal age uh, for drinking in Korea is 19. Um, for the hardest part is booking a reservation, which is required through the Naver app. This is free to download. I recommend at least three days to a week for reserving in advance. However, you need a Korean phone number and bank account. When I visited, I was able to have a mutual friend help me due to them studying and living there, but I'm sure like uh, staff in the airport or tourism booths will be able to do it for you. <laughs> it's a 4001 reservation, which is like $3 in USD. The last time I visited, I was staying around Seoul, so make sure to plan well because it took me about an hour just for the train ride. And it could take like another additional 10 minutes or so just to go from station to station if you need to transfer lines. Okay, very important to keep in mind, there is little to no English uh, accessibility at all. But as long as you have a camera translator app like Google Translate, then it'll be okay. The staff also lent me their phones because mine died. So, um, but we entirely communicated through this, so it was fine. When I arrived there, uh, it was pretty early still. The theme at the time was Limbus Company. This was before the game came out too, so like about November of 2022. Karen and Dante were outside as cutouts, and you're able to sit in the chair and wear a mask with Dante's clock head. I didn't do that though. Before your reservation time, you line up along the restaurant. So the employees come out to announce precautions and to verify your reservation and identity. Uh, you do need your ID. I think any photo ID will do. I had my state ID, but I've heard from like other foreigners that they used driver's licenses and passports. I'm unsure on how it is for Runa or Lobcorp themes, but for Limbus, they have Virgil talking over a speaker. Sorry, I'm not Korean myself, so I have no idea what he's saying. I was given the coin, like, um, the ones that you flip in the game, but I've seen later that, uh, in the future they gave out ticket stubs, which unfortunately wasn't done during when I went. Okay, so on the inside it was, um, like you were on the bus. On the reservation, you should be able to choose where to sit. They have name tags on the tables, so be sure to look for yours when you walk in. I sat in the main room with the train handles and seats like uh, you're on the train. The projectors made it look like you're traveling through the city and districts, which I thought was pretty cool. And they also played through all the character promos and just gameplay and trailers of World of Company. So after you place your belongings down, you go to the kiosk, which you see when you walk in. It's at the front counter where you order food. And then after eating, you're able to purchase exclusive merchandise that I got to use in the next section. I think it's about an hour and 30 minutes long for visiting, which I think is pretty reasonable, but it still felt pretty short. The restaurant was smaller than I expected though, so I kind of understand the time limit, but I loved the atmosphere so much I didn't want to leave. Okay, so ordering food with this kiosk. There are images and a physical menu on your table, but again, as mentioned before, there is no English accessibility, so everything is in Korean, meaning again, you need a translator on your phone to help with this. Um, I think this is because there aren't many foreigners going to Hampang, 
but you should let locals in front of you order first and then ask the staff to assist you afterwards. Again, you need like a Korean phone number to pick up your order so because uh, they send you like a text message to your phone. But then just let the staff know like, oh, you don't have a phone number. And then they'll just be like, oh, it's okay, we'll just bring it to you when it's done. What I did was ask the staff for recommendations because um, there was other food aside from like character themed dishes. So they got me the cementi orange juice and then the signature ham ham pang pang sandwich, which is the one Roland canonically likes and is really as good as he says. Uh, it was massive. I can see why the people with the backstreets love this. Like, it was so good. I also got the Netzak drink, which is a green apple beer. Um, I did drink it because, you know, it's illegal over here, so... I was able to bring back a can home for my friends too, but they told me it was pretty bad in their opinion. Whenever you're done eating, you can buy merch. They mainly had daily practical items like ID passes, dishware, silverware, mouse pads, tote bags, etc. They're still selling bits of Runa merch, like the Ida bag and Angela and Roland uh, book wrist plushies, but those are the uh, things I wanted the most, so I was pretty happy overall. The manuals and art books seem to be always available. I think that's just because it's incredibly expensive. I think it's $80 in USD? I don't remember the price of it. And uh, during this time, they were sold out of the R Core putties and W Core hats. So I was pretty disappointed. They do restock, but it's best to come as soon as you can because they didn't during the time I went. But then uh, for the upcoming Ruina theme, uh, they seem to have it back in stock, so I'd say it would take like half a year for them to do so. Um, the character pins that I got were not gotcha, at least the one for Olympus Company, the can badges. For the enamel pins from the previous themes, I'm not so sure. But yeah, so you can buy whoever you want. However, the acrylic stands are gotcha, like for the previous names. Uh, one pool is about $10 USD, which is like 12,000 won. And then the wall on the left is all gift art fan merch, which is really cool and wholesome to see. It's the one that gets posted online and rearranged often. And one of the workers told me that she thinks the fan merch is so much better than the official ones. And I was like, damn, okay. <laughs> oh, also throughout the restaurant, they have like stickers and like, I don't know, like prints put up by fans, which is really cute. Overall, 11 out of 10, but I have to knock it down by one point, so 10 out of 10. The staff were really kind, and I stayed past the time limit to have a conversation with them, and they seem to be extremely happy when international fans come due to the game still being pretty niche. Um, the workers mentioned to me um, that they all wish and hope that one day Project Rain grows bigger so that they can expand internationally, at least for shipping out merchandise. If you are happening to ever visit, please let me know. I'm more than happy to listen to other foreigners' experiences, and I can also answer any kind of question uh, for those wandering below if you are in need of any help in visiting. If this video helped you out in any way at all, I'd like it if you could share, subscribe, comment, like, whatever, all that stuff. I travel to Japan and South Korea often and would like to keep sharing my experiences, so if you're interested in seeing that, please do. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.